There are people who loathe everything about Guy Fieri, from his attitude to his bleached, spiked hair. If insults could be converted to currency, Fieri would definitely be laughing all the way to the bank. But fortunately, he can rely on his cooking chops to keep himself rolling in money. Alton Brown in 2017, Alton Brown announced that he would be starring in a revival of his Food Network show, Good Eats. And he couldn't help but get a jab in at Fieri during his announcement of his new show, Return of the Eats at DragonCon. The only problem? Scheduling around Guy. Brown said, They're gonna have to cut diners, drive-ins and dives down to seven and a half hours per day. This isn't the first time Brown has mocked Fieri either. In 2012, he called out the dives host on social media, tweeting, I am planning on visiting Guy Fieri's NYC eatery this weekend because it can't be as bad as all those snooty New Yorkers say. Hashtag wish me luck. David Chang Momofuku founder David Chang is all aboard the Fieri hate train and has been bashing him since the 2000s. Chang is notoriously cynical, detesting everything from cupcakes to pretty much every single restaurant in San Francisco, but his animosity towards Fieri has layers. On the surface, there's his obvious dislike for Fieri's personal style. He's criticized Fieri's sunglasses and armband, going so far as to say that if he ever dressed like that, someone should, quote, throw him down the stairs. Chang also seems to resent Fieri's inexplicable success, while more seasoned chefs have yet to get their big break. Anthony Bourdain The late, great Anthony Bourdain was never one for pulling punches, and some of his best zingers were reserved for Fieri. When was the last time you remember just like laughing to cry, screaming laughing? A Guy Fieri's tweet that he was on his way to a Nickelback concert. <laughs> To be fair to Bourdain, in spite of a long-running feud between the two, he admitted to not loathing the guy, telling the New York Daily News, I have no hate in my heart for the guy. He doesn't make me angry. Still, Bourdain found Fieri easy to make fun of. In 2016, he told Adweek, I find Guy Fieri a rich and deep vein of comedy. But is he bad for the world? On balance, probably not. Bourdain added that he was offended by the very idea of a Fieri restaurant in New York City's Times Square, but grudgingly admitted that there are people who like Fieri's food. David Page Fieri's diners, drive-ins and dives was a huge win for the Food Network, but the show had a lot of behind-the-scenes drama that its creator, David Page, revealed to City Pages in a scathing tell-all. Most of the drama was centered on none other than Fieri himself. According to Page, Fieri was a little-known chef when the show first aired. As his fame grew, he stopped returning Page's calls and began to avoid the man who had helped give him his big break. Eventually, Page was booted off the show entirely. Afterwards, Page placed the blame on Fieri, who he claimed wanted him out. He told City Pages, Guy will say whatever he needs to say to prop up his image of Guy as a really nice guy. Pete Wells We can't fully confirm that restaurant critic Pete Wells personally hates Fieri, but his 2012 New York Times review of Guy's American Kitchen and Bar in Times Square certainly indicates some strong distaste. To say that Wells tore the restaurant apart would be an understatement. His review was addressed to Fieri himself, asking if he has ever eaten in his own restaurant. In one memorable passage describing the onslaught of unusual food names, Wells wrote, did panic grip your soul as you stared into the whirling hypno wheel of the menu where adjectives and nouns spin in a crazy vortex? It gets worse from there, as Wells proceeded to tear down everything from the food itself to the names of the dishes. Only someone who truly detests Fieri would ask, When we hear the words donkey sauce, which part of the donkey are we supposed to think about? Fieri's restaurant closed in December 2017. Ariel Ramirez Fieri's stylist, Ariel Ramirez, hasn't gone on record with his dislike for his employer, but it's safe to say that after your boss kicks you, you're gonna harbor some ill feelings towards him. The altercation between Ramirez and Fieri isn't just tabloid fodder. There's video footage to prove that it happened. TMZ leaked the tape in 2013 of Ramirez punching Fieri through the door of an SUV. Ramirez even openly weeps as his boss beats him up. Supposedly, it was just a drunken brawl that got out of hand, as Ramirez and Fieri had allegedly been drinking on a flight to San Francisco. It's a plausible story, but it's an incident that's surely not easy for either man to get over entirely.